Good morning, everyone. My name is Roz, and I welcome you wherever you are to our oblate time of prayer together. Here we are on the second Sunday of Advent on our journey of hope and waiting. May all our prayers and continued support for one another strengthen our community in faith and hope as we approach the special celebration of Christ coming into our hearts and homes at Christmas. Today we remember anyone who feels weighed down by illness or anxiety or isolation or who just feels overburdened. For these few minutes you are not alone. We hold you in prayer. We pray too for peace in our world in our lives and in the lives of those seeking a safe haven from fear, persecution and conflict. We begin our time of prayer together with a sign of hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy God, you became weak so that we would find strength in moments of heartbreak. You set aside your glory to hold our pain so we might be healed. You became one of us so that we would not be alone. So come now, child of Bethlehem, to strengthen us in these days, that we may feel your presence in a way we never know, not just as one born in a stable long ago and far away, but as one born in our hearts now and forever. Amen. Our reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Every time I pray for all of you, I pray with joy, remembering how you've helped to spread the good news from the day you heard it right up to the present. I'm quite certain that the one who began this good work in you will see that it is finished when the day of Christ Jesus comes. God knows I miss you all, loving you as Christ Jesus loves you. My prayer is that your love for one another may increase more and more. And never stop improving your knowledge and deepening your perception so that you can always recognize what is best. This will help you to become pure and blameless and prepare you for the day of Christ when you will reach the perfect goodness which Christ Jesus produces in us for the glory and praise of God. Last week, on the first Sunday of Advent in the scripture reading, we were told to stay awake, stand erect, be ready to welcome Christ, and that we have to grow up a bit in our faith and look afresh at how we keep that faith in Jesus alive and active in our lives. We need to mature. We're encouraged to look, to listen, to hear the word of God, and to pray hard as we try to become more Christ-like in the way we love and live. But Paul tells us in today's second reading that he is quite certain that the God, the one who began this work in us, will see that it's finished when the day of Christ comes, that the seed of faith planted so long ago in us and nurtured by our friends, by our families, by our communities, will grow and reach maturity when Christ comes again. My prayer is that your love for one another may increase more and more and never stop improving your knowledge and deepening your perception so that you can always recognise what is best. Recognising what is best is not always easy. And I certainly didn't always recognise what is best or understand what I heard in scripture when I was growing up. For example, later on in our gospel, we'll hear of John the Baptist. To me, a strangely dressed, weird gate crasher to the approaching Christmas celebration. That's how he seemed to me. 
What was he doing there? How did he fit in? But I realise that we're such works in progress on the struggles in our lives and in our faith journey. That pathway is full of winding ways and rough roads, the ones John speak of, speaks of, the paths that need to be straightened, that I know of and accept as part and parcel of the journey on the road to Christ's coming again. Recognising what is best is not always easy. But this Advent is a good time to start afresh. Maybe with tea and toast and spread with wild honey. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray. Lord, I give you my hopes, my dreams, the seeds you have planted deep within me. I ask you to nourish them, to bring them slowly to life and commit myself to waiting with patience and trust. Come, Lord Jesus. May God bless you, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us today.